Hello, thanks so much for stopping by. My name is Melissa with one S, but you can call me Mel, and today I'm super excited because I'm going to share with you my new propagation box that I got from Crazy Plant Guy. Check him out right here. Thank you so much, Crazy Plant Guy. I was able to snatch up one of his propagation boxes that he put out on Instagram to raise funds for charity, specifically the Alzheimer's Society in Canada. So super awesome. Not only am I able to expand my propagation collection and plant collection, but I'm also able to support a great cause. So thank you so much. I'll link his YouTube channel in the description if you don't know him already. Um, he's definitely doing great work and he will be opening a plant shop too as well. So after I show you my new propagation box with the cuttings that I received, I'm also just going to show you what I've been propagating with my collection that I have because I kind of went crazy the other day and started cutting a bunch of my plants just because I want to grow more and watch them grow from scratch. So stick around if you want to see what I am propagating. Also, at some point in this video, I will be announcing my plant lover shout out for the day. Thank you for the people that did comment back at my last video. So for those that are not aware, I am starting a plant lover shout out. So after I announce who it is for today, I will show you or tell you what the next requirements are to be one of the plant lover shout outs for my next video. All right, stay tuned, give it a thumbs up if you do like this video and let's go see some propagation cuttings. Here is my new propagation box. I'm gonna give you a little tour of this box and what I have in it. So to start off, this big one here is a Neon Pothos and it has a few leaves already, so that's awesome. And it's already rooting, which is great as well. Uh, I don't have this plant, so I'm glad that I'm able to add it to my collection. And then over here, you have the Hoya Microphylla. I think it's how you pronounce it. I'll put it on the screen. It has dark green in the middle, and then it has light green on the edge of the leaf. Uh, just a little bit of dryness on the end, but that's fine. And then I have a Raphidophora. Again, I may butcher the name, Cryptantha and it has two leaves, hopefully you can focus, uh, two leaves there, and it's still trying to root, but I'm excited to see it root and hopefully it can grow. And then you see here all scattered is some string of turtles, and then also some string of hearts from the infamous string of hearts that the crazy plant guy has in his apartment, so I'll post a picture of that long, long string of hearts. But yeah, so I don't have string of turtles, so I'm excited to add that to my collection as well. And then we have here, uh, he mentioned it was the Anadendrum cordatum, and that's one leaf there. He mentioned that it is finicky, so I'll try my best to continue to research the plant and make sure it's living its best life. Uh, but super pretty, it's like a faded green. Uh, it also swayed very, very soft. All right, and then here is my favorite one that I was able to get in this box. It is the Philodendron Melanochrysum, and it does have three leaves, one, two, and three. I can't even believe I have this in my collection, to be honest, so. Super happy, you can see the iridescent leaves. Look at that, so beautiful. So yes, I have a three leaf cutting there. If you have any tips on what I should do transferring, definitely uh, let me know in the comments for any of these plants. And then here is the Syndapsis um, Jade Satin. I'm so happy I also was able to snatch uh, these cuttings because here where I live, this plant is still quite expensive or hard to find, so technically still rare where I live. Um, this one is rooting, this one, and this one is all like one cutting, so I may cut them so that there's three cuttings in total, or I may just leave it like that to see if it roots. But yeah, so again, these leaves are so beautiful, very big, and I'm so happy to have these in my collection. And there you go, that is my 
new propagation box. And this is the first time I have plants in sphagnum moss. A lot of the time I do propagate them in water. So, oh God, look at that. So cool. All right, let's go see some of my other propagations. All right, so it is that time of the video, folks. This is my first ever Plant Lover shout out. So I have the four names of the people that did submit a comment in my last video, and I just placed it in this terracotta pot, so I figured it would be fitting as my little basket. Oh, I, I decided to do this because I really just couldn't pick. I figured maybe I would get one person, but I got four, which was super exciting, so. Anyways, so the first plant lover shout out is, I got my paper here. It is, it's Botani B-X-T-C-H. So I'm going to read her comments. Thank you so much for uh, commenting on my last video. And I just have my phone here. I'll put her up on the screen here. So she says, hello from NYC. My favorite part is seeing new leaves unfurl. It tells me I'm doing a good job and a good plant parent. So for those that didn't watch my last video, the requirements were tell me where you're from and tell me um, your favorite thing about your plant parent journey. So that's so awesome. I totally agree. Seeing those leaves unfurl, it shows you that you're doing a good job. It shows progress and it shows that your plant's healthy. Again, thank you so much for commenting and thank you everyone else who did leave a comment. I did read them all, thank you so much. I had someone from Italy even, so it's just amazing to see where everyone is watching my videos. So for the next plant lover shout out requirements, I want you to tell me what is your top favorite plant and why? All right, so what is your top favorite plant and why? Leave it in the comments below and let's continue with the video. All right, so here I have all of the propagations that I have so far. You can see I kind of went a little crazy, but I'm going to show you all of them. I'm just gonna take them out of the water and then show you the roots. All right, so to start off, I'm going to show you some of my Raphidophora cuttings. So here you have one of them. Uh, there's no roots, but you see there, there's like this white growth point. So I'm wondering if a, if a root or a leaf is gonna come out of there but the leaf itself is still really healthy, so that is a success. And then here, this one does have a root, as you see there. There you go, so that root is very healthy. And then we also have a growth point there as well, which is awesome. And then beside that, I have some more cuttings. So these Brazil philodendron cuttings are all newer. Um, and for example, this uh, pearls and jade cutting, this one is also rooting, which is awesome. There you go, it's perfect. And then you have a Syndapsis pictus exotica. This one is not really doing well. It has not rooted nor has the um, growth point started. So I don't know. We'll see about this one. I don't know if I should change it to sphagnum moss, but we'll see. Of course, these golden pothos are doing really well. Look at that root right there. Golden pothos never fails to root for you, which is awesome. There you go. And then I have a heart-shaped philodendron here that is also rooting for me, as you see there. There you go, looks great. And then I have here another golden pothos, again, never fails to root as well. I have some Brazil philodendron cuttings that are new and they have not rooted just yet. Um, I probably just need to give them more time. That's part of this whole process, right? Is just giving them that time. And the ones that are definitely not doing well in water are these Monstera Perus. I see that there's a root starting to grow there, but nothing so far. And then I have another Monstera Peru here. 
there's the no but no growth point yet or new root uh, this monstera does have see it's it's rotting from the top and it's rotting from the bottom but i don't know we'll see what happens this is the root that's coming out of it at least there you go and then this Raphidophora tetrasperma that I did in my other video. It is rooting in soil as you see here, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm just gonna plop it back in there. All right, folks, so I hope you enjoyed seeing all the propagations, seeing my new propagation box from Crazy Plant Guy, and then also what I have propagating right now as well. Let me know what you're propagating in your home, what plants you've cut up before spring starts. And yeah, so leave a comment down below, give it a thumbs up or thumbs down if you like this video, and I will see you soon.